think we got clearance from Zeus. Here we are approaching Athens, the capital. The city is named after Athena, the goddess of wisdom. Down there is a new Olympic stadium. And look, there's Demetrius, your guide. Remember, Atusa, from now on, you don't say Greece. You say Hellas. The Greeks don't call their country Greece, just like the Germans who call their country what? Deutschland. I know, Grandpa. Here are the key shots for the pilot episode. Atusa is an over-imaginative eight-year-old who loves Amelia Earhart. And Grandpa, of course, he can change to anything because he's a cumulus cloud. A study of children's TV programs showed that there aren't many loving grandfather characters as heroes. The few found are, more or less, nuisances. There will be some documentary footage of locations because our focus is on people and where they live. However, the theme gets most of its help from characters rendered in a 3D animation. Let me show you something. We use this style because the show constantly challenges our point of view. Ah, I was drawing it upside down. Here. Anyway, when the art department takes over, it will come to life as a 3D animation. The creation process goes something like this. Faray dreams up the sequence and often draws pictures to indicate the blocking or camera point of view. The art department reviews the storyboards and determines what technical requirements must be achieved. After these considerations have been reviewed, the actors are brought in to read the voiceovers. Afterwards, the animation team works out the necessary blocking and vocalization motions from a pre-existing library of phonemes they have built. Finally, the sequences are edited together with a compelling musical score. Hi, I'm Kurt at the animation department. I've seen many 2D pictures of Grandpa McLeod. 